prove that f of x equals x times the absolute value of x is differentiable at x equals 0. So proof. I haven't done this problem yet, but uh, this should be differentiable at 0. And so let's go ahead and try to prove it. So to prove this, we have to show that a certain limit exists. So recall that f is differentiable at x if this limit here, h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h if this limit exists. So if this limit exists, then we say the function is differentiable at 0, at x rather, and we call it the derivative. So we set it equal to this here. So in the proof, we have to just look at this limit. Now it's really important not to just write down f prime of 0, right? You can't write that down uh, unless you know it exists. So the limit as h approaches 0, and here we want to prove it's differentiable at 0, so it's going to be f of 0, right, that's our x, plus h minus f of 0. That's all being divided by h. All right, this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Let's go ahead and write it down one more time. f of 0 plus h is f of h. And we still have f of 0. I didn't simplify that on purpose. <laughs> over h. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. All right, f of h, well, here's f of x, so we just replace all of the x's with h's. So this is h, absolute value of h, minus, and then f of 0, well, if you plug in 0, you simply get 0. It's all being divided by h. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of h times the absolute value of h over h. These guys cancel, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the absolute value of h. And now, this is a continuous function, the absolute value of h. It's continuous at 0, so we can go ahead and plug in the 0. And so this is equal to 0. And so we showed that this limit exists. Right? So this guy, so this limit, let's be really precise. So this limit here exists. Hence, f is differentiable at x equals 0. Moreover, we know the derivative. Right? I'll, I'll finish the proof, but moreover, we know the derivative. The derivative, right, the derivative is equal to this limit. So the derivative at 0 is actually simply the value that we received, so 0. So I hope that uh, made sense.